Welcome to the video, it's Loki Ferg. I'm gonna be speaking about addictions and I'm gonna be doing it brief and fast. I'm gonna make this video as short as I can because I see all my videos is going past like 30 minutes and 20 minutes. I'm trying to bring it down, but you already see, you know, and plus with the cut, you know, hey, hey, knowledge break. But look, back into it though, so my, my storage is full, so I, I'm, I've been deleting stuff, of course, don't think I'm a fool, but. I do want to let y'all know so I'm gonna make this fast so if you need to slow it down you can slow it down I'm not gonna repeat any of this so while you listening now I make sure you know doubles back I right. first the way on how you could you know tips with your addiction the first tip is identify your triggers and avoid them as much as possible imagine a red stop sign when you are faced with your triggers whatever makes that addiction flare up Second, replace your addiction with a healthy habit such as exercising or meditation. Imagine a person running or meditating when they feel the urge, when you feel this urge for your addiction, okay? When you feel like you need to engage in your addiction, imagine so imagine yourself running or meditating. Third, thirdly, seek support from friends, family, or a support group. Imagine a person surrounded by a supportive friend. That AKA you are like at rehab and you know this is like a place where you uh you they know what you doing and they know uh you know what they doing is not uh, a judgmental type of tone for set goals and track your progress towards recovery imagine a person checking off boxes on a calendar as they reach their goals so every day that you do not you know go do your extradition you know, you do that every day you don't do that is a goal that you accomplish five practice self-care practice self-care and prioritize your mental and physical health imagine a person taking bubble baths and going for a walk to practice self-care develop coping mechanism this is the sixth one but that was that was the fifth one you know self-care the sixth one develop a coping mechanism for stress and anxiety imagine a person taking deep breath and using the stress ball to cope with stress instead of going to your addiction seven avoid situations where you would be tempted to use your addiction imagine a person walking away from a situation that would you know flare up trigger the addiction to make you want to go relapse and eighth eighthly but we're not done we're not done we're not done just yet eighth but we're not done just yet stay positive wait wait no 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 i'm, I'm skipping shit. create a routine and stick to it help Hold up. Create a routine and stick to it. Help establish a healthy habit. Imagine a person waking up at the same time every day and following a set of routines, establishing a healthy habits, establishing healthy habits. And you know, this is gonna be a ritual that you do every day. Like you wake up at five in the morning every single day and you start to work from there. Now, you know, now nine. Stay positive and focus on the progress you've made. Imagine a person writing down their accomplishments and focus on the positive aspects of their life recovery. So stay positive and focus on the progress you made from, you know, you realizing that you it was an addiction and now it's something that you want to get over. Ten, seek professional help. If you can't, you know, do this by yourself, you can ask me, you can ask your, your parents, you know, sometimes you feel like you can't talk to somebody around you, but a, a conversation from that person around you, it's cheaper than you talking to a therapist and you know that person really knows you so they could tell you some things that you might have forgot but hey that was a uh, tips on addictions if you need any more help hey my dm's always open and i'm low key out I'm going ghost